Hey everybody, Anthony, 4 Before Adventures. We're going to do some Max Trucks repairs. We've got the uh, kits from Kaon, and you can see the Max Trucks have been absolutely destroyed. And that's a bit of a different sort of uh, wear pattern, because normally it's right up the ends here. You can see a little bit of wheel spin here. They can take a little bit, because uh, this is where you want them to grip up and pull under. So in my opinion, if they were damaged up around here, the middle way, you wouldn't be sort of too worried about it, because it's all about getting the grip as you get onto them, once you're up to there, you're already moving. So I wouldn't say waste too much time or money trying to fix up these ones further up and mainly the ones at the end here. So with this one, we might actually move to one of the next max tracks and find one that's a bit more damage on the, I'm talking the first two is probably most important. And then obviously the next one. So we will do some of these, but we'll have a look at the worst ones and get on with it and show you how to quickly update those to the ones that won't burn out. Wow, so we're having a look at all these and they've all got the same issue. Now, I'll tell you what's happened and the reason why. And this is probably uncommon. So the first lesson is don't spin your wheels on the max tracks. But, of course, in some situations it might happen like what's happened here. You can see along the top of all of them, they're all pretty good. So these max tracks actually aren't too bad or really in need of much of a repair, to be quite honest. Because up here, there's enough grip anyway, as already explained. It's more about getting them to grip and pull under at the start and you do it slowly and gently if the wheel spins you stop and you need to get them under the tire that's how you use max tracks right and you're generally not putting them under halfway but we've got a pattern here where about halfway along about halfway along about halfway along about halfway along so what's happened here the mud was so crazy if you missed it on our four before adventures youtube channel this channel have a bit of a look at some of the recent videos we're in a wet area and basically what happened is the mud was so soft, they just got sucked under straight away. And then we tried the track grabbers, which are completely destroyed as well. We'll have a look at those in a separate video. But what was happening here, the track grabbers, is what was spinning and hitting these, damaging these max tracks, which actually makes them look terrible. But like I said, it's not too bad. It, you've got to be pretty proud of that. They look good, they look well used, they look a bit roughed up, but they're still going to work just beautifully. So... This is almost a waste of time replacing any of these lugs because the ends of the max tracks are actually pretty good. I don't see any issues, really. But we'll go ahead and replace a few anyway. All right, so after analysing them all and working out that even these ones on the end, they're only a little bit worn, they're not too bad. It that actually doesn't need to be done. So just because you've got a few damage, don't worry about it. These ones up here, as much as it looks bad, they're going to grip up fine once you're up on those tracks and you're going to go straight over all of that. No dramas, but we want to uh, replace a few anyway, because look, we've got all the gear now, all the gear and no idea, but we're learning and hopefully you are too. So what I'm going to do, they say to cut it off with a knife in the k video, and then drill it out 8 mil and all that sort of thing, but I've got some different ideas. Hey mate, can you hold the camera for me? Right, this is the test, right? We're going to uh, try something different, try different things, see if it works out. Everybody ready? glasses off so I can see what I'm doing all right doesn't give a lot of length on the threads so we've got to make sure we got it all the way through I'll just spin it around good work cameraman so it doesn't give you a lot and I think there's a reason for that we're going to need a clean hands mate see gloves where possible always gloves people be smart take the time slow down get the gloves all right, hold it there, I'll go get a spanner for that, something like, oh no, I've got that, no, no, we're good to go, actually. Well, I need something to hold that, actually, so I'll grab a little, we've got a dodgy shifter. Right I, don't, I don't think that's going anywhere. All right, let's turn it over and have a look at that one. 
Beautiful, just like a new one, all right? That's how it's done in the 4x4 Adventures 4x4 Diesel Workshop. All right, so that one's looking good, right? And I actually, by luck, see they offset the angles. So we did that again. So we're gonna go this one. We're trying to look, this one not worth fixing. This one not really worth fixing, but just we, we've got bags of them now. So we're gonna put one there and we're gonna move up the board. And I reckon I'm better on the camera. You could be better on the tool. So let's see, mate. Safety glasses, please. They're over, they're over there. Grab the safety glasses. You want the earmuffs or not? Yeah, sure. You put those on. Hey, otherwise, I'll, otherwise I'll, exactly. Hey. Otherwise, I'll put them on, right? <laughs> All right. So we'll do this one. This one, you're not gonna be able to get too flat. We've got to be careful not to hit the side ones, of course. So let's see how your uh, grinding skills go. on a bit of an angle if it's clean but free of burrs then it's good to go i think there's a little bit i've got a de-burring tool i just got my de-burring tool that's it and that's it try and get because you would just want it because of the short thread beautiful that'll do that'll be heaps all right let's pop in through you look better in the camera anyway because you've got work pants on man i've got tracky hacks on <laughs> You meant to keep that out of the camera, mate. You know, it's yeah, going on, mate. We could put this in uh, four before whatever Sundays as well, because it is actually sound underneath. We've got one damage. You know, you could even do one of them, but you don't need that. We're not worried about it. I reckon it actually looks good that you know they've been used. Like, hey, these guys have been into some trouble somewhere. Who's got melted lugs halfway up their max tracks, right? <laughs> nah, nah, it's not a common thing, right? And if they were there, they wouldn't be laughing, I don't think so. <laughs> We can laugh now. Beautiful. That's it. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, but it'll be a bit of R&D. Um, anybody use these? Let us know in the comments if you've had any come loose. Because now that there's two on there, I'm considering uh, uh, Loctite, you know. But anyway, just thinking about it. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Let's continue on. I reckon uh, let's finish the rest of the pack. Let's do two more on the most important in the middle. One, two. We'll do two in a row this time. More efficient. So I think it's better to grind everything you're going to grind first because as I'm grinding this, these ones are getting in my way a bit and I'm worried about nicking them with the grinder. That's it. So better just work out what you're going to grind off and do them all at Absolutely once. perfect. But for the video, some people have only got a minute, some people have only got three minutes. So at least we got one done for the people that are in a hurry. That's and it. the smart people that hang around at the end to get the efficiency information <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> so of course, I want to give some other tips what I've learned so far. I've never done this before. Firstly, the flatter you get this, the better. Uh, secondly, do not take off too much because there's not there's a bit there, there's a few millimetres, but if you went too far trying to get it flat, you're going to be in trouble. You're just going to have a hole there, so keep that in mind. Don't go too far. Take it slow, get it nice and flat. Pick the ones you're going to replace based on how many packs of uh, things you got from kon.com.au, not me. And uh, basically, yeah, it's as simple as that. So grind, count how many you're going to do, pick the worst ones, grind them down. Like I said, in my opinion, these ones don't need to be done, but... You know what they look pretty cool don't they overall they do, so yeah. yeah so we might go to town on it. what are we we'll divide how many packs we got there we've got six packs it seems a waste we might save a couple for when we really need it yeah. so we might put what do we got six packs is that right yeah. four or six six. Yeah, six let's try and put a pack on each board so we'll just do two more here we'll clean these up a little bit actually then again it's all there for grip all these big daggy bits we'll cut we'll get some of these off of the grinder let's do that now let's put two in this and then this board's done all right. 
We're getting better at this as we go, mate. That were nice clean drill holes you did that time too. <laughs> and the deburrer tool is a little bonus. Yeah. I think you can get cheap versions of these. You can just get these at Bunnings, man, you know, 20 bucks. You don't, this is a bit of a better quality brand, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're doing steel on that, it's gonna matter. Handy little tool. Something that I've only had in recent years, you know, so there you go. Mm -hmm. And I reckon yeah. with the gun, let's give them an idea what, how far, you know, I mean, because you, you go too hard and you're going to squash the plastic, but I think tight is better than looser. Can you, does the socket almost even get on? Yeah. Oh, so that's the problem there, yeah. It's getting recessed. Right. So it's almost like you need a special thin socket because see the recession. And so that's right. Because your socket's tapering the end a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's a thin nut. Yeah, that's it. So... Just push on it and give it a bit anyway. It's stainless steel, they're rock hard, so they'll, I reckon they'll be right on the night. We'll motorbike them if we need to. <laughs> that's it, that's beautiful. Let's try that one as well. That's it, exactly right. So we did, you know, we did slip it a little bit. Um, but this is one of the problems you'll come across and it's one of the things you'll learn by watching later in the video Thanks for watching. That's fixing the max tracks on 4x4 Adventures I'm going to do another video on 4x4 Diesel because I think this is a really good thing and uh, people need to see how it all works But look, there's certainly, like I'd say, is probably the first four The row of the first four is the most important The ones up here, I wouldn't bother uh, repairing at all That's where you're going to get least wheel spin if you're that far under there What's going on to spin wheels there? That's just crazy stuff. Yeah, we know that, don't we? <laughs> hey, everybody, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell, and we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.